back with another one. Let's put the investor hats back on. We are talking about financing your first rental property. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do these series of videos. I want to cover like each pain point. Maybe I need to do three, four videos for each pain point. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out. But this particular pain point, I know the majority of people at times struggle with it. And for me, it's something that pushed me away from real estate. I was so hesitant and reluctant and almost even fearful uh, with getting involved in it because I was like, I, I don't meet the necessary requirements. I don't have this. I don't have that. And it's far from the truth. I was talking to somebody in the gym and it's just like, I, I don't know, that down payment. I'm just terrified of it. I'm like, all right, but there's, you know, you're making the down payment, but it's equity that you're putting into it. We'll, we'll get into that another one, but on another video. But I realized once I started to just take the initiative and research, what are my options? I realized like, okay, I'm putting all these limitations in myself. I'm my own worst enemy. Let's, let's get to work. I can get involved in this because I was always under the assumption that, hey, I only can use a conventional loan on the investment property. And that is far from the truth. Now, I wanna preface this with saying there's tons of different loan options, creative financing, there's different ways. I'm just talking about, well, just in today's video, one of the loan options that I particularly used. I've used different ones throughout, but this is one of them that I have used, I have experience it in, I've done, I've done the process, so I'm talking about it. Yes, there's other options, this is not the only one. This is one of my favorite ones, but it's not the only one. And it's called a DSCR loan. Look it up, do your research, you got some homework. It's called a debt service coverage ratio loan. The qualifications are basically based on the cash flow of the property. I got my little notes here. So if you see me looking down, okay. Now, that alone is the biggest difference. The qualifications are not going to be solely based on the individual's income, right? So the W-2s, the pay stubs, the tax returns, and it being looked at with a magnifying glass and a fine tooth comb, no. That is not going to make or break your approval for this particular loan. It is going to be based on the property. Now, are you coming in there just showing absolutely nothing to this lender? Of course not. But it is not solely dependent on, okay, the, the individual's income, which is very, very powerful. And it's what a lot of these investors are using that I even know personally. That's how they're able to scale so, scale so fast because you can, another pro of this particular one, you can use this multiple times and you can use it on different properties, whether it's the single family, multifamily, commercial, condo, townhome, all of that, okay, which is like very, very powerful. Now, because you can use it on different types of properties, you do have the wiggle room of getting higher loan amounts. Of course, just know if you have a higher loan amount, to require a higher down payment, higher closing costs, but we'll get into that. We'll kind of get, that's kind of gonna be the cons, but we'll get, get into that one. Let's get into the cons actually. Now, because the lender is taking on more of a risk, similar to maybe more homework for you guys, like a hard money loan. With the DSCR, the DSCR loan, because they're not requiring the income verification. Now, you will get hit with a higher interest rate. Interest rates are already nuts as it is. So you have to keep that in mind. Like, okay, if you get hit with this interest rate, is this going to be cutting into your spread? Is this going to be cutting into your monthly cash flow with your property? With the cash flow, you may be trying to rent it for two grand, but they're like, no, it needs to rent for this amount to get approved for. And you have you want to anything lower than that, you're not going to get approved. You're limited with who does the SCR loans. Not every lender does DSCR loans. It's one of those things where some lenders, they're they specialized, they're willing to do it, they like it. You may come across others that they do not do it. And you may, then those who do do it, they have their own criteria as well. So you have to also keep that in mind, right? Okay, their closing costs might be higher. They might have different fees. 
there's a plethora of different things that each lender who does do the SEO loans, they do have their requirements. So you have to keep that in mind. Those are the things that may keep certain people away from it. And they may just say, hey, I'm better off going with a conventional loan because I can provide the necessary income verification to get approved for better rates. So it's all about what works for your situation. More times than not, when you're trying to scale your business, scale your investment portfolio, you will go with the SCRs. There's another thing, just how volatile everything is right now. Hey, the rental market might decline, right? There might be, you're, you're getting 2,200 and now you can only get 2,000. When you try to do a DSCR refi, you may have some struggle with that. And that's something that you do want to do. Like once these rates do drop, you do want to get in there, refinance, be able to pull out some of your initial investment. Then now you can take that to do another another deal or do whatever other investments you may in, be interested in. So this is the Cliff Notes version of it. I don't want to keep you guys too, too long. But it's something to think about if you are getting in your first real estate property that you're not bound to just one way. I think that's the moral of this video. It's not just one way to get approved. There's a multitude of different ways. I mean, there's assumable loans. I mean, there's subject twos, there's FHA, like there's, you know, there's hard money loans, there's partnering up. There's so many other options that you can, that you have. But what I don't want you to do is limit yourself. As with just life anyway, don't feel, oh, I seen this person fail at it because they got this particular way. I guess it won't work for me. No, you have options. Do your work, do your homework, and you will find a way. That's how I did it. I thought if I would have just went the conventional route, no, just way the way rates are crazy and this, no, 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 no. I was, I would have never been able to do it. I've done the SCRs, assumables, you know, there's hard money that I've, I've used. There's options. So I'm going to do definitely do more videos on this. It's just something I just want to share. I feel this is the type of information. It's like it's available, but it's not available. I feel it's like you got to some of this information just kind of passed down. And if you don't know certain people who are in the game and I don't know. It's just interesting. So I don't want to get on the soapbox. I don't, I, let's keep this video short. Listen, let me stop it here. More videos on the way. Let's go.